have like a strong local Falcon to practice against. You don't really have any of those. So Brands, we're back with Aperture versus Depressio. I think we've um, done this before, like at a previous meltdown or something. Not that it matters. Um, certainly had it uh, before today. And Aperture just like kind of slumped him. Uh, don't really know what the pressure was anticipating there, just walking forward. He didn't really push a button or anything like that. But Aperture took full advantage, uh, gave him the nice up throw back here. And he's got the traditional 0 to 39 ish percent. Just fell down with Luke there. Um, pressure kind of should have been ready for that, but he didn't. Uh, Aperture being somewhat aggressive with his uh, choices but it's working out for him so it's perfectly fine yep oh i'm actually quite surprised he went like straight for that he's dead oh no wait no no i lied i lied why did i think he used spring already uh bad spin release yep uh, watch out for the gyro. Uh, bad spin release again. Don't die. Okay, good stuff. Probably could have... Nah, nah, nah. It was fine to roll away. Down throw. Yep. Is he gonna... Yep, I agree with that. Yep. Um, probably should have just fell off and forward aired. It would have been faster. Ah. Uh. Nice. Ooh. I'm kind of surprised the pre uh, pressure didn't um, anticipate him just going into him with the spin release and then going for something big like an up smash or something like that. He usually does that against me, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't agree with down throw. Should have just done a forward throw or back throw. Your butt throw would have been like the best one. Down throw is a really, really shit throw. Um, if they're not going to go off stage, there's no point using it in general. You don't get mix up. Don't let anyone tell you that. Lie. Oh, God. Very nearly died to that. Uh, he's gonna die now. Yep. Yeah. So despite the, the beginning, the first lock actually goes to the pressure. Um, I guess it was like trying to anticipate the ball in. Yep. Alright. Yep, that's good. Uh, the pressure playing uh, a lot more solidly um, at this stock actually. Yep. Taking. Um, wow. He's taking his advantage um, as far as he can against Sonic, which is uh, pretty nice to see. And he's like, he's dodging a lot of um, Sonic's early killer. Oh, okay, let's check. He was dodging a lot of uh, Sonic's early killers while making good decisions in the neutral. And he got a lot of reward from it. Like, he's 0 versus 62 right now. And like, Rob is the character that, you know, has the camping tools, not Sonic, so... Okay, it's better than nothing. So after he's got to, like, kind of do the catch-up, but... Uh, is that gonna kill him? Yeah, damn. He ended up behind him, got hit by a uh, damn uh, smash. Well, that was actually solid play from the pressure. I mean, I, w I was kind of ready to just, like, cuss him out um, with how that matchup started, but he actually, like, played that uh, really, really solidly. As much as I'd like love to gun Lucrecio, um, he is actually like pretty decent at this matchup at this point, which is nice to see. Because we don't have uh, too many Bob players in London specifically. So um, as a Sonic player myself, from a Sonic perspective, it's nice to see. Or it's nice to have like an actual Bob that is, you know, at least mildly aware of how to behave in this matchup. Instead of just like jumping into spin dash charging and then just crying so good every five seconds. Yep. Damn, bad back air. He kind of wanted to relieve the pressure, so I understand why he went for the back air, but he just didn't shit. Um, okay, Aperture, it's time to wake up. Come on, Ap, you're better than this. Take, you know, take some discipline. 
uh, exercise some discipline. You won Winners Finals for free, but, you know, obviously can't autopilot. Ah, he missed the jump. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, gun him too hard for that. That shit happens to me all the damn time, so whatever. Pop-Tart, I don't want to hear that from you because, like, you body all of the other Sonics. It's that when, when my guy wants to actually perform uh, appropriately against Sonic, he slaps them up. Don't think I didn't see your set against Aperture the last time you played that Meltdown. So don't give me that about, are they really wrong? When my guy's punish game is, like, second to none. They've been shielding their springs and then getting the reverse to the hit on F-Smash. Oh, no dive. Um, he should not have gone for F smash there. He could have at least gotten a jab. I know he may have wanted a bigger punish with forward smash, but he really wouldn't have gotten that much from it. Nice. Okay. Pop Dart, when you're killing niggas at 50% with Tippet F smash, the reverse hit of Tippet F smash on landing, I do not want to hear that crap. Okay, uh, Aperture is kind of getting slumped now. Uh, I didn't kind of expect this to happen to this extent, but uh, it just kind of seems like Aperture's kind of autopiloting. There's really not much for me to actually comment on comments on Aperture's play specifically. Um, he's just not responding appropriately in the correct zones. Uh, going deeper into that, he's... Well, yeah, Mike said it uh, for me, pretty much. He's not really respecting Gyro enough. He's spin-releasing and pushing buttons in bad areas and basically getting hit for it. And Lucrecio is kind of ready to just push his advantage when he actually gets a hit. All right, Battlefield now. Apple's just got to do the reverse 3-0. Well within his capabilities. Um, for the sake of all of us going home as quickly as possible, I uh, kind of hope he does, but if not, whatever. All right. Uh, Buffered up smash. He did not want that at all. Nice. I like the double up air uh, because Rob is a quote-unquote floaty character. To prioritize advantage like that, going for the double up air instead of the up air neutral air, gains you uh, quite a bit of advantage against Sonic. You get to land uh, quick enough that you can get a spin special charge ready by the time they get close to the floor. Um, unlike characters that fall faster, where you still want to go for the double up air to prioritize advantage, but you can't really continue pushing because you just don't really have the time to charge up a spin dash special to minimum charge time. Nice. All right, this is this is much better play from Aperture right now. Ah, oh, crap. Yep. Uh, he got hit pretty low to the ground, so he wasn't you know completely ready for the tech. Can't uh, blame too much for that. Nice. That's fine. Good. Hit the pressure over him, button. And why him button for man? I do him buttons, man! Let's shut up, man! Him buttons, you're dying early! What's the matter with you? Okay. Um, I don't know if that down smash was actually a punish. Nice. Probably uh, shouldn't have actually got there. He could have taken that um, spin hot hitbox like down with him, very very slightly pressured, uh, pressured the shield, and like got to the ground a little bit quicker. But it's it's fine. We didn't really lose anything there. Damn. Uh, didn't DI that well. Nice. Good. All right, he's gonna go down there. Go down there. Go down there. Oh. A little, a little bit too late for that. That's okay though. Uh, decent enough trades, doesn't really matter. Didn't lose um, full advantage for it. Oh, you know, rather he didn't lose neutral by it. Um, okay, well, you got the second up here, but I think 
throwing him off stage with back throw would have probably been better. Wow, he just like went straight past him, even though he's dashing the other way. Ah. Ah. Spacing was just a little bit off, but, you know, he had the right idea. Nice. Yep, yep. Go down there, go down there. Uh, perhaps not, actually. No, no, he still could have got him, actually. Up. Um, I understand why he went up. The spacing uh, was a little bit too inwards for him to like go for like a forward air, something like that. Nice. For him to go up for like a forward air, which would have been more beneficial. Considering uh, forward air's reward uh, at this stage of play. But, um, you know, up air's not exactly bad, so it's fine. Uh, Lucretio playing pretty conservative. Wow. Playing fairly conservative uh, with the gyro. That was uh, pretty decent, actually. If he could, like, I don't know why he went for down. Why is he down smashing? What me, man? Okay. Just, just take the next shit. Thank you. Damn. Honestly, um, at this percent, he really probably should have just been looking for back air if he was going to commit to like some. He shouldn't kill him if he was going to commit to like some extent instead of going for F smash. Oh, uh, that's going to kill him. Shit, boy. And there you go. 3-0 to Lucrecio. See what happens when you stop being jammy! Yeah, yeah. And stop mashing buttons, man! Survival. Get him! Oh, you're just gonna put the two? Yeah. So you see what happens when you stop mashing buttons against Sonic and like panic air dodging? You can actually do well. Three, two, one, go! Hey, what do you want to do me, man? Hey, you thought that, man? Look how you look like you're not in the lead! Okay, well, he's in the lead now. Yep, that's fine. Um. So that uh, gyro interaction on the ledge is kind of... No, he's not going to die. He's got no rage. That gyro interaction on the ledge is uh, not particularly effective against Sonic because of how low Sonic hangs on the ledge. Um, Aperture did the right thing by just, uh, like, hanging on the ledge there instead of going for any buffered option. On certain stages, that gyro isn't even going to hit Sonic off of the ledge anyway, which is really, really cool. But, like, kind of deep, not going to lie. Sonic's ledge hang is like super OP. Oh. Oh, he actually like air dodged it properly. I'm glad he did that. That was like the you know the one instance where he actually needed to air dodge there. Yep, good stuff. Baited out, um, not necessarily the gyro toss, but just baited out an action that he believed he could get around by dashing past him. It's, uh, damn it, missed far back here. It's slightly risky for a Sonic to do that because if the opponent is anticipating that the Sonic is just gonna dash forward and just pushes any button or just goes for a grab, then obviously the Sonic is gonna lose. But if they do something a little bit more, um, you know, something with a little bit more wind up, um, then dashing past them with Sonic is, he's gonna die, ah, not quite. Then dashing past them as Sonic isn't necessarily um, a bad option. But considering the risk that comes with it, it's not, a, it's not an action that I like to take myself, at least. It's not something I like to do in a true neutral situation, unless I have a specific amount of advantage and believe that the opponent cannot, um, properly respond to Sonic dashing past them. Like if they're just about to land or something like that. Good stuff. So while dashing past the opponent as Sonic um, is an actual quote-unquote mix-up option, 
It is um, a relatively high risk one, and uh, the reward, well, the reward basically depends on what the opponent actually does, because the act of dashing past someone isn't, you know, th th it's, it's not, you're not really hitting a, hitting a button, you're not necessarily punching for something. You've got to do something once you've dashed past them, whether it's pivot grab, uh, whether it's a uh, short hop aerial, like up air or something like that, or whether you're just charging spin dash and got to, you know, check another option that they do after you've dashed past them. Uh, oh damn, just didn't, just got him with the jab. Apichat actually should have, if he wasn't going to mash jump there, he should have mashed spring there. But he probably didn't respond because he didn't anticipate getting hit by something like jab. So he probably wasn't ready to like, you know, mash a uh, escape option. But good stuff to Lepresio, he kind of took full advantage of that. Just hit him with the one jab and then just got him with the grab. Perfect punish, up through him for death on the top platform, nothing he could do about it, no amount of DI was going to save him. Nice. Ah, uh, not a um, time to do... I uh, see... Okay, well first of all, that wasn't a time to go for like um, a spring follow-up, you should have just um, gone for another jump follow-up or just etc. Maybe try to cover him on like the um, one of the middle platforms or something like that. But... After actually tried to go for a dash past the opponent option, but because the Crescio was walking back, um, Apsha tried to go for a, for a pivot grab, uh, specifically, probably reading like a jump or something, but because the Crescio was literally just walking back, he, he basically got nothing off of it. And that's just, you know, an example of, um, an example of the risk, quote unquote, in trying to just like dash past someone all the time to try and get something out of him, or specifically to try and get in. The impatience of Sonic players is honestly their... Um, oh wow, I'm actually quite surprised he didn't uh, wait for an air dodge there and go for like back air. I kind of expected him to do that. <clears throat> the impatience of Sonic players is something that does them in um, the higher the level of play goes. It's kind of understandable. Something like that. That, that spin charge into release basically served no purpose. Why? Because the Crescio was already shielding. Unless he was going to keep charging and wait wait for the Crescio to do something like, is that going to kill him? Yeah, yeah she killed him. Cool. Unless he was going to keep charging and wait for the Crescio to actually do something out of shield, that spin charge release was a bad idea. Yep. Yep. Either way, after took the game, uh, 1 0 to him in the grand final reset. Well, see, the problem with approaching uh, with aerials for Sonic is that approaching with aerials as Sonic is basically trash for pressure. You have to be confident that your opponent is going to hit a button that will be punished by that aerial, or you, you know, have to be confident that the opponent is going to jump or basically perform and, oh my god. Lucretio, please, man. Lucretio, please, man. Not like this. You basically have to be confident um, that the opponent is going to perform an action that can be punished by one of any one of Sonic's jumping aerials. Why? Because his aerials are trash on shield and all punishable. Approaching with aerials is also uh, something a lot of uh, Sonic players need to kind of get out of their mind as well. Because unless you're reading something specifically, it's just not a good idea. You lose a lot of neutral advantage and they're all punishable in shield, so there is no point. Well, for rising areas in particular. Okay, well, oh, Crescio, please, man! For flip's sake! Crescio, kill, 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 kill yourself! Kill yourself! Kill yourself! Good. All right, now we're finally out of that stupid game. What a waste of time. Um, 
so it's gonna be like the final game. Well, final game for Aperture anyway. Uh, it's entirely possible that the Crescio do Oh dear God, never mind. Looks like uh, it's most likely it's gonna be a 3-0 for Aperture in this uh, grand final reset. Good job, buddy. Um, I think this is his third meltdown in a row. Uh, I think that's a streak for him. So that's that's kind of nice. Um, not gonna lie. I think I have a streak of like maybe five or six meltdowns in a row, something like that. Nice to see Aperture uh, keeping the tradition alive um, as he's basically just, you know, continuing to grind and um, push his Sonic play further and further and further. Um, I have so much faith in my boy. Love him. Always uh, banging out the game so that he can do better. Come into these weeklies. Uh, now he's basically just uh, styling on the pressure. I'm pretty sure um, the spin roll footstool uh, dare spike on Olimar doesn't work. Or Olimar might be one of those characters where you have to time it. So it wasn't really worth doing. Should have just gone for a neutral air uh, for damage. Would have kept advantage uh, with this much percent as well. But he just went for down air anyway because why not? He's basically, he's basically got this in the bag at this point. So... Hey, don't, don't, don't give me that back, back, back that 10 meltdown win streak. Hey, why aren't you here at meltdown, man? I wanted to see you versus Aperture again. What's wrong with you? What you pop top man? Down throw! Okay, forward throws, whatever as well. <clears throat> yeah, um, Sonic, you're not wrong. That's um, a completely fair analysis. I was more talking from a general perspective. It's like, if your opponents are... Oh my god, that's gonna kill him, isn't it? Yep, purple F smash. If your opponents are gonna keep performing actions um, that are either beating uh, specifically your ground approaches, like dash shield grab, or, you know, that you believe uh, can be beaten by short hop aerials, then it's all well and good to go for, uh, for them. But it's not really something, it's not a backbone of, of neutral, you know? It's not really something you can turn to and say, okay, my neutral's not working here, I should start doing this. It's more of a case of, is my opponent doing X? If so, I should respond with this. And, okay, I really wish Aperture would stop using down throw uh, when it's not going to put opponents off stage. Uh, not that it matters at this stage, but yeah. Yep. Get him. Get him, bro. Up here, that's fine. Uh, that fair or nair uh, would have probably been around the similar amount of advantage. Uh, one more back throw at about that sort of spacing should do it as well. Uh, kind of surprised he didn't uh, just go there with a um, spin dash release. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Hit the jump hit um, before he could get the neutral air for the kill. If he did, there you go, that's death. <clears throat> if, if he had um, confirmed the... SCR hits of the spin, chest ro uh, spin, char spin charge roll in particular, and then dodged the jump hit, then the neutral air would have been able to combo for the kill. But he accidentally got the jump hit. It happens a lot, um, which makes spin charge somewhat iffy as a uh, late game killing option, even though like the actual you know kill itself becomes reliable. The actual hits themselves uh, become a bit iffy because the roll hits end up hitting them a bit higher and sometimes you can dodge the jump hit. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of jarring, but you know what? It's, it's, it's whatever. Apparently it's a part of Sonic Balance. Good job, bro. Took another meltdown. Uh, dropped one set in Grand, but that's okay. That's three meltdowns in a row. Yeah, I mean, that was really sloppy though. Honestly, it, it, for the most part, it just kind of looked like you were autopiloting set one. And then set two, you just kind of like 